The Alpha Sessions with Emma Joyce. so much for taking the time to um chat to us today um yeah. and so glad we've been able to make it work um and i wanted to ask you like how how did your musical journey start um well so um i've, I've been to theater school since i was a kid and um, i've always been involved in musical theater and stuff like that yeah. um i always have music on the side um, so I guess it's just from a kid, I've literally always been performing and it's just evolved and over the years I've just noticed that music is more my strength and yeah, just, just, just more, within the last two years I'm, I've been like, right, now I'm going to go professionally into it, so yeah. Because you recently released your second song, Not In Love, Yes, yes. which enough. is yes. amazing and I've always wanted to know this from someone, like when it takes you a while and you build up your sound, like how do you know that you're ready to get out there and release that music? I, I, to be honest, I don't really, I don't know. I think I started writing, I've been, I've always been writing songs and I started writing proper songs, songs that actually were <laughs> half decent. Um, and yeah, and then I wrote Not In Love um, and I just, I, I know, I just kind of felt like I wanted to get it recorded and release it properly. And yeah, I don't, there was never a moment, it was more just like, Okay, I wrote this song. I think this this could be worthy of a release. Kind of thing. No, I love. Can you tell us what that's about? So it's kind of about um, when people get confused with being in love and in an unhealthy relationship. Um, I've said that so many times. Like <laughs> it feels like it's a script now, but it's kind of that is what it's about. When people think they're in love, and when you're in a relationship, you get a lot of pain. You get a lot of hurt when you're in love. Um, so people think that you're either in love and getting the pain from that, or you're probably actually in an unhealthy relationship. So yeah, that's what the song's about. Is that drawn from a personal experience? Um, it, it was, but the, the song dramatised. <laughs> <Dramatized>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so you obviously released it during lockdown. Um, yes. which we're kind of just coming out of now. Um, did you have to do anything different to promote it? Obviously live gigs weren't a thing. Yeah, that was the major, major difference was, and yeah, it was hard. It was like, I can't go out and promote it. Um, but nothing, nothing majorly different. It was still the same process, but 
it was just not having the live performances made such a difference, I think. Was that really challenging for you? Yeah, it was just not being able to get out and even just word of mouth, being able to go to like even open mics and stuff like that. Yeah. It makes such a difference. Um, but again, I'm still a bit sad that it had good response from it. Um, still been really, really good. But, yeah. If that's a good response you get when we're in lockdown, like imagine when we're out of lockdown completely, <laughs> how amazing it's going to be, right? I hope so, yeah. Um, and you've also um, played for us by me. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about that as well? So, um, funny enough, this song actually came after um, I watched an episode of Grey's Anatomy. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen Grey's Anatomy at all, but there's this, uh, I want to say, famous scene um, where she's um, telling this guy that she's in love with to pick her over someone else. Um, so it's kind of, in, in the sum of it, that's what the song's about, is picking someone um, because you want to be with them, kind of thing. So yeah, it's a love oh. song. And, yeah, came from, came from an episode of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and finally, Leap. Yes. Um, so Leap is about um, like taking that next step and just doing things that aren't necessary in your comfort zone and things that are scary and just, yeah, taking a leap and doing things that are dangerous, really, and being brave and being bold. Um, yeah, it's a bit of an anthem song that I that I wrote and, um, yeah, I like it. It's kind of upbeat and it's kind of like, yeah, just take a leap, do something brave, do something good. Kind of song, yeah. Where do you think you get your inspiration from? That was the, the song leak came from uh, an actual, um, I can't remember who it was, but it was a motivational speech someone did and I was watching it on a whim, I don't know why, and <laughs> yeah, it just, it just came from that. So it's really odd, it's not, not, not yet, uh, anything particular, um, it's more from something that's unusual really.
the Alpha Sessions. Um, you also do quite a lot of covers, um, which I've seen online and stuff. Um, and I was just wondering, do you have a favourite? Uh, right now, um, I've, I don't know why only recently, but I've just um, heard some of Noah Cyrus' music. And I'm just in love with her music at the moment right now, particularly um, Young and Sad, which I just covered. So, yeah, her music at the moment is on repeat. <laughs> Um, what other tunes have you been listening to during lockdown? What's been getting you through? Um, God, that's a hard question. Um, God, uh, actually, Maddie and Tay's new album has been quite preparing at the moment. Um, yeah, so I'd say any any song on Maddie and Tay's album is pretty much doing the job. <laughs> Maddie and Tay. Oh, I've never heard of them. I took them out. So, they're yeah, they're a country uh, country duo, and uh, yeah, they're awesome. And if you were to get a call tomorrow, um, and they would say to you, gigs are back on, everything's like normal, um, and you could play anywhere in the world, it could be somewhere that you played before or that you've always wanted to. Where would you play? Um, that's a good question. There's just before lockdown, um, there's this jazz bar in London that I was um, meant to play at. And, oh, cool. What's uh, it called? Morning Scots. They, oh. do a, a, they do a jazz club. And yeah. I was always there because I had such a, like excitement to go and play there. And um, yeah, so when everything gets back open, I'm definitely going to get back in there. So yeah. So Ronnie Scots. And then if you could collaborate with someone at Ronnie Scots that night, who would it be with? They could be dead or alive. Ah. Uh, um, uh, right, I even, I know, well, she's alive and she, um, so you read Andress and her music, her lyrical content, everything like that is just out of this world. So I'd say Ingrid Andress right now. Cool. Um, and then if you were to um, play this song with them um, or play the show with them um, and you were given a rider of your choice, it can be anything you want. Um, what would be on that rider? That's, that is that's a question I've never ever <laughs> thought of. Um, <laughs> well, it's probably ever going to be like the best um, like buffet because that really gets me going. A good okay. buffet. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, and then, is there anything that you're working on at the moment that you can tell us about? Um, there is, but I'm, there's not much more I can say on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just at the moment I'm working on some exciting things. So, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So we'll look out for that. And if we want to look out for you and um, find out what you're up to, what's the best place to catch you? Instagram, for sure. Um, so it's Laura Beck with Music. Um, I upload quite often. <laughs> a lot, <laughs> yeah. So go to Instagram. <laughs> Started on before I knew what my heart was in for Just a guy in a bar How did we get this far? You're all I want Sign me a selfish You know that I don't do this It's all so new I'm done feeling blue It's cause I miss you So if you choose Choose to love Selfish, you know that I don't do this all so 